Have you had uh, uh, any problem with copy mail? Um, I do. Um, I'll just be honest with you. The copy mail meaning after they place implant and uh, we made the uh, prototypes. Either dentist made it or we made it. The prototypes to period of time patient have to wear it and then we see the size of teeth and color of teeth and contour of teeth. Um, unfortunately, a lot of technicians and dentists neglect this part, which is extremely important to me in order to make high-end, world-best for mouth zirconia. Do you really want to know about this today? Watch out. Okay, thank you. not like the PMMA, which is we did it. Um, the problem is the whenever I do copy mirror and um, I have to correct it. So today is, is very secret. Even though we made the PMMA, which is follow the wax try in, which is previously doctors made it. And um, this is secrets. I have to cut it and reduce it a little bit better and contour shaping in order to make the better copy mill full mouth screw retain zirconia. So today I would like to show you about the trick. Uh, how did I do that? So number one, I want the same alignment. That's number one, I just look at it. Number two, I just look at the, the occlusion. Okay, which is over jet. So that's my questioning. Um, doctor said it's okay except couple things, but this is really they like it. So my question is, if I follow like this, my final restoration will be not great. So what I do after I diagnose this, to me is really bulky. So today is my secret. I'm trying to show you the. Um, couple items why my favorite to grind it. It's one of my favorite, the Horiko. Um, this is 0 0.19 center diamond disc. This is really good. And this is um, 0 0.22, which is the open dental solution. I love this, especially this. Um, after we center zirconia and then cut it, this is the best. We can, we can cut it just like a butter. This is the best for zirconia cutting. Like the Comet, which is the um, little thin center uh, diamond, right? This feather edge. And here's another carbide bar. Okay, so now we're ready to do. Uh, here's my pencil because this is too shiny. So I have to cut it uh, number eight and nine first because it's too fat. For you, the demonstration, so I put, put it in there. Otherwise, I'm not going to do it. Let me open the, the vacuum. And I weld my glasses. So first I use the carbide bar because I have to grinding like this. At least one millimeter facial back to the liquid. See? Thickness difference. So one side done. And then I move to number nine as well. So I trim it. Same as number eight. Now it looks good. Now whenever you see number seven and ten is two out. Okay. So same thing I grinding to bring it in. Just like other side too. Okay. Hold it.
see how much he's bringing in. All right now, this ladder, number seven. Okay, so the blue is done. Okay, now K9, as you can see, bulky, especially this. Same thing here too, so I can't do it. You have to remember, based on the occlusion, okay? Either it's my lateral, I mean lower, make the out, I can do, okay? Then we don't have to cut too much. But whenever I see that one, I see the over jet. So green in 8 and 9, and then 7 and 10, and then 6 and 11. The other side too. Now you got that? Now, to me this is too wide. So what did I do? So I make the, the low direction. Make individual looking. Like that. or 20,000 RPM. So I have a little bit section it in between two. Too, too strong, so I a little bit more than 1.9. Better. open space as long as the my implant was okay if my implant is too out you cannot cut it too much for pressure in bridger, okay I make it a little bit more open okay. then I use the little bit more thin disc It. So my scanning people will get better. I see here is a really bulky, so I will move in. So I like the same alignment. Okay, getting there, right? So I bring it in. And then create the lobe and tooth contour. Like that. That one is a finalize it, the better PMA to make the highest aesthetic. Right. Number two, so I have to grind a little bit more in gradual and make an individual looking. So what I did, I using it. As long as the implant side is good, now is good. Okay. Same thing. Now third one, I using the this. 
which is the Sintor Diamond. Make a little bit higher. The better contour. See? This is the more finalized. So either one, when you make the convex, I want to make convex. When I make the flat, I have to make the flat. When I make the two low, I have to make two low, which is symmetric. That's what I'm doing. But just really make sure if this low, this low will be same. That's the key. So whenever you do this, and then you determine with the width. I like the same. Now, it's roll in the lateral for the digital area, like that. It's good, yeah, getting better, okay? You have to see the overview, the occlusion view, then you see the facial contour, like, like me. Now let's move to lateral. Now move to K9 to K9. Here's a little bit bulkier than this, so I have to grind in this. So I want to get the same K9 when patients smile. Here's a two Y, so I have to make uh, a shrink between here, between there, in order to match this this size. Okay, and not only that, the lateral, this one is the tucking. Then the other side, I make a little bit roll in to the distal area like that. Okay. Then, another times I use, like I said, decrease it to swap, 1.6, like that. So I decrease here. Now you can get the better shape and contour. Same things, I'm trying to make the slightly open, more open, and more open. Because the contact zone is here. This, this. Okay? Mirror image. One side, the other. Now it is better to shape. Now almost done, we can put it into um, scanning. Because the premolars, buffer creator is fine. The only, th only thing is bringing in the facial and they make really natural life like that. Creators. So regarding lower teeth, the same things. I can open it in, in here as long as I have an implant. Position is good, this is good. So I can add here, I cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it, 